Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play This War of Mine. This is not going to be the first time I've played this game. I did attempt to record it and Fraps was playing it probably, but we're going to give it another try now. I'm going to start from the beginning with another try. Um, choose our story. This is different from last time. I think... Okay, so you've got this woman here. Ah. I think these are the guys that started with last time, so I'm going to choose this story here. I'll lose my current progress. Yes. Day one. Fuck the war. Yes, because wars are never nice. <laughs> Let's have a look see then, shall we? Okay, how long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work. There's a shortage of food and meds and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends. So when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Palv, Pavle, um, while scavenging for supplies. He used to be a... He used to be... Por... 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 Pogoran? Gorons, star football player. He's now just another homeless victim of war, so they teamed up, hoping for the best. Okay, we're going to check our bios quickly. Palov. Before this whole mess began, I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during the war? Nobody cares about sports when every day can be their last, so I scavenge the ruins like everyone else, hoping for the best. He is a fast runner, that is his main trait. And then over here we've got Bruno. He is slightly wounded. He is a good cook, but he is a smoker as well. So he's good at cooking meals for everybody, but he does require cigarettes. He doesn't get cigarettes for a while, I think he gets depressed. Anyway, before the war I used to own a restaurant, even have my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. Okay, and then we're going to check our last guy, Marco. <coughs> he is a skilled scavenger. That means he can carry more, basically. I thought I'd been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives more times than I care to remember, but back then I had people teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays your former neighbour can kill you because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. Okay, well the first thing we're going to want our people to do is start scavenging things. You are going to try and break through that door. You are going to check this. What have we got here? We've got components. We've got clean water. Take all the components. Got clean water. Um, it's used for making alcohol, preparing good meals. And we've got some wood. You are going to check this cabinet over here. And you are going to check this pile of filth over here. What have we got down here? We've got a lockpick. It's single use, but can open locks quickly and quietly. We'll take that. We've also got parts. Various mechanical parts used for building and fixing complex devices and electric parts. Some electric parts, they will come in handy if we want to introduce advanced improvements to our shelter. There's this area, this building is our shelter. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And you are going to go there. What we've got here, we've got some herbs. Various herbs that can be used to make herbal medications and roll up cigarettes. I'm going to take you, more components, more wood and electronic circuits or electronic parts. You're checking that there. More herbs, more mechanical parts, more clean water and more electric parts. 
this is basically all the stuff we have stored in our shelter. Now you are going to go check this pile of filth down here. You're going to start clearing this here. You are going to go down here. Got some more components and wood. Let's grab all that. Actually, we're going to get you to clear this rubble up here. Now we can make some things here. And the first thing I like to do is make a metal workshop. Work, metal workshop. Although, what should I make? I can make beds where they sleep at night or in the day. Chairs. Makes them more like home. Makes them feel better in the rough times. A simple heater. A radio. A crude stove. Moonshine still. Metal workshop. Rainwater collector. Filter. And fuel for fires. Now, this can be upgraded later. But for now, I'm going to want to make a metal workshop. And I'm going to place it. I'm thinking of placing it right next to this one. Would be a good idea. Anywhere better in here to place it? Let's place it right next to this one. Place. He's going to spend some time doing that. You are going to start clearing this rubble over here. As you know, you can start breaking through this door. So, Powell's down here. Bruno is up here. Go clear that rubble, please. And Marco's making a metal bench. This is what we can make. We can make a shovel. That's going to cost us wooden components, but it's a very good thing to have. So, I'm going to make that. As soon as that's made, we can start clearing this rubble a lot quicker. You can check this desk. What have we got in here? We've got more herbs, lockpicks, all that stuff we have before, and you're going to clear that rubble there. <coughs> as soon as... Ooh, I feel ill. I hope it's nothing serious. Me too. And now you are going to make a crowbar. A crowbar is used for breaking open doors, breaking into locks, cabinets, things like that. We can use lockpicks, but lockpicks are more useful elsewhere. I'm going to make that, and you are going to start clearing that with a shovel. Move the rubble, you use your shovel, much easier with my shovel, and that'll go a lot quicker. And as soon as we've got a crowbar, we can use the crowbar on this cabinet. There we go, you can use the crowbar on that. You can go here and then use that. Shovel's doing a good job, that's good. Let's see what else we can make. I'm thinking nothing quite yet. I'm going to need a few more bits and bobs. What have we got down here? We have got some medication. Their taste is terrible, but they can save your life in sickness. We've got some more food. We've got some herbs, more clean water, and some books. A good book is uplifting. The more we have, the better. If times are hard, we can make them into fuel for a heater or stove. So I'm going to grab all them. And let's see. You are going to start clearing this rubble over here. You are going to check this cabinet over here and see what we have. We've got more of everything we have. Grab all that. And then you're going to use the crowbar on this door here. Can you make anything yet? Not quite. Maybe I should have sent him over here. Oh well, too late now. You are going to clear this rubble. You are going to clear this rubble. And you are going to use a crowbar on this door. Crowbar, I believe, lasts a long time or infinitely. Let's check our things, shall we? Oh no, they do have endurance on them. So eventually we will need to build another one if it breaks. Which we will do eventually. Now I'm going to use a crowbar on this here. While you are going to clear this rubble here. Left click to send them walking. Right click to make them run. And what have we got in this one here? We've got some bandages and a book. Bandages address our wounds. So we're going to grab all of them. And you are slightly sick and everything down here is gone. So we're going to get you not to get that. You're going to get this. You are a fast runner. You're just going to run up here for now. 
We've got some more raw food, herbs, cleaned water and jewellery. That is good for bartering and trading. Take all of them. Okay, so you up here, get you here and then clearing that of a shovel. You are slightly sick, so you need medication before it gets out of control. You are fine, so you're going to take over doing that door and you are slightly wounded, so you're going to have a bandage. <coughs> He's feeling better, slightly sick, but he's on meds, so that's good. Let's see if we can make a bed yet. You are now in here, so you're going to get into this quickly. Let's see. Still can't make anything. I think we've cleared everything in this building. We don't have a bed yet, unfortunately. What have we got in here? We've got a book. That wasn't really worth it, was it? So we've cleared everything in this building now. Let's get you... Can we make anything here? We could make a knife if we had some weapon parts and more components. Can we upgrade anything? We need 30 wood to upgrade the metal workshop to an improved metal workshop. And for the bench, a normal workshop, we need... 14 components. That's not too bad. But there's nothing else we can do here for the rest of the day. So we're going to end our day. Go on to the night. Now. Marco is a skilled scavenger. He can carry 15. But the fact that he is slightly sick. He is on meds. I'm going to get him to sleep. Bruno, our cook, is going to be on guard duty, although he is slightly wounded. And Pavle is a fast runner. He's going to go and scavenge. And we want to choose somewhere to go. We could go to a quiet house. There's lots of food, huge amounts of meds and lots of parts. There's a ruined villa. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. And there's an abandoned cottage. Well, this abandoned cottage, a family barricade themselves in this house, but despite their efforts to... Despite their efforts, Luther got inside. It's been abandoned ever since. Still, we might find some useless things that the looters overlooked or left behind. Some say people still live there, against all odds. They must have some supplies stocked, like canned foods and possibly bandages or medicines, but they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. And then quiet house. It's in a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's a calm area of little houses and oh, with porches and gardens. Most of the houses are still inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. Okay, so I'm going to go to this abandoned cottage because it's going to be the easiest start. And actually the fact that it's going to be safe, I'm going to send you to scavenge. You're only slightly sick. You're not terribly sick. Pavle is going to guard and our... Cook Bruno is going to sleep and prepare. <clears throat> now it's always a good idea to take a shovel with you and a crowbar. I think that's probably all we're going to need. So we're going to click on scavenge and off we go to the abandoned cottage. Must be in a hurry, there's lots of stuff left here, that's okay. What have we got in here? We have got shell casings, empty shell casings, we could make a firearm ammo out of them. Components and parts, we're going to grab all for now. And we're going to check this pile of rubble over here. Zoom in a bit. We've got lots of components, wood, gunpowder is used to manufacture ammunition and explosives. Let's grab all this. Let's run downstairs. Check this pile. We've got more stuff. Let's grab all that. Here's our timer showing the orange just before the orange is when we really want to be leaving. Let's take all that for now and head over to this pile. Now that little red movement there is actually just a rat. Take all that. We've got some more parts. Take, take, take. Gunpowder. Take that. We can't take any more. 
what I'll probably do is move everything down into the basement eventually. <coughs> and we've got ooh, two weapon parts, that's very good. We've got a roll up cigarette. We've got fertilizer and some books as well. So what I'm actually going to do is drop everything in this cupboard for now. And exit that. So we're going to run upstairs to here. Ooh, and this door is actually blocked. I didn't even think about that. But we can unblock that door so we can get in and out quicker if we need to. We're going to grab all of this and block this door so we can get in and out quicker we're going to check this on the wall here a family photo of parents and two daughters good thing the girls don't resemble their father he looks like a bear he's a bit grizzly in here we've probably got some food yes we've got lots of meats Vegetables, water, sugar cubes, or sugar. There is the no moonshine without sugar, essentially essential for the fermentation process. We've got vegetables. We can eat them, but they make much better meal when cooked with some raw meat. I'm going to grab all this for now, and then we're going to run down here. And place it in this cupboard. I'll have to get it all in one central location. Drop all this. And I didn't mean to drop my tools. I wish there was a drop all. That's better. It's better if I click on them. I'm going to grab this. And this. Don't want that. Okay, run upstairs quickly. Nothing left in the fridge, is there? Nope. Let's check this pile over here. We've got nothing new. All sorts of bits and pieces. And this is why we bought our shovel and crowbar, so we can get into things like this. Shovel's doing a good job, glad to hear it. Got a rat running around upstairs. Let's use our crowbar in here, there should be some good stuff in here. <coughs> is the rat coming downstairs? Nope. Nearly into this cabinet. And what do we have inside? We've got some more medicine. We've got some moonshine, which is very good for trading. And um, we've got two bullets. So we're going to grab all that and exit. Let's run upstairs. Let's check this here. A note that says, On the first day they robbed us. Two days later they murdered our girls. I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use my or use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you're reading this, don't look for me. I imagine that's the father. See, war is never a good thing, people. Let's grab all this quickly. We're going to exit this. We're going to open this quickly. Using the crowbar to get in. It's not very good. There we go. Got it on the third try. Let's open this door. You can actually look through the doors as well. What have we got here? We've got some coffee. Some of us drink coffee and find strength in order to survive another day. It's limited availability in water makes it a valuable commodity. We've got homegrown tobacco. It's for making roll-up cigarettes. Not nearly as good as the real thing, but we can grow it ourselves. More fertilizer, weapon parts and parts. Take that. Which I'm going to click here. Wasted a bit of time then, but I'm going to drop you and drop all this here and start moving it all from the far side over this way get it all closer to the exit because we will be coming back here the next day nothing new there let's exit this check into the bed we've got some herbal meds simple medication based on herbs sometimes they help sometimes they don't still they're better than nothing and some medication as well grab all that go over here <coughs> We'll grab what we can and exit, run down here. We're going to bring it all downstairs and put it in this cabinet. And then when it's getting close to about four o'clock, we're going to sort through what we want to take with us. Run back upstairs. 
a little bit boring, but I like to get it all sorted and centralized in one location. Let's search this one quickly. Grab everything there. Grab all. Run over here. Can we grab all from here as well? I doubt it. But we can. That's okay then. Very nearly couldn't. Everything upstairs is down here now. There's just a rat over there, as you can see. Nothing left on this floor, so we're going to run to the cabinets. And we're going to drop all this in here. Luckily, these cabinets and stuff have unlimited storage. Exit that. I'm going to run and check out the garden. See if we can find those weapon parts. There it is. I'm going to grab that and the broken pistol. Exit. Run downstairs. <coughs> Searching this pile here. Grab this wood. Search this pile here. Grab all of that. Run to this cabinet where we've got everything now. And we're going to drop all this and think what are vital things to take with me. Well, obviously, full stacks are preferable to partial stacks. But I'm thinking I need to take some components, definitely. Thinking one, two, three, four, five full stacks of components. That's 20. Maybe more. We're going to want to take some weapon parts could be good. Actually, there's something I'm going to want which requires weapon parts. So I'm going to take that. Machining parts. Food is not essential right now, although getting it home is nice. Let's take that. Um, none of this is essential, although we could take the moonshine because that's good for trading. I don't think I really need electronic parts just yet. I'm going to take, unfortunately wood is only in stacks of two, but I'm going to take two, four, six and I'm going to take another four components I think that will do for my first day tomorrow we can come back here and we won't need our crowbar or shovel so that's gonna be it and I'm just gonna click on run to the exit and it'll automatically leave instead of me having to click everywhere and then we'll be getting back home sniper over there somewhere Marco is back Day two. <sighs> Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Um, the night was calm. Marco has been searching for supp supplies and bought some interesting things. That's all we bought back. Let's click continue. And we're going to run down here because the most important thing that I want to build is a bed. We need food. We have food. Actually, I'm not upgrading just yet. I want to build, at very least, one bed. <coughs> so I'm going to make this. And I'm thinking, where should I place it? Basement. Po basement would probably be safest if we got raided and have to go down these stairs and these stairs. Over here, up here, and then up here. Now, one problem is we have this big hole here, this big hole here, and this big hole here. So maybe building it in the basement would be the safest. Or should I place it over here? Or should I place it somewhere that looks a bit nicer, like this bedroom? I think I'm going to place it here, right up against that cabinet. Yes. So, Marco, you're going to do that. And you're going to run and do that. Well, Bruno, you're going to see if you can upgrade the metal bench. You haven't slept in some time. Everybody is tired. We do have some rest. We still need more components and more wood, which is unfortunate. So we're going to see what else we can make. Let's go over here. I'm thinking one very good thing to make would be a crude stove. 
It's as simple as they get, just burn some fuel made up of wood, books or components and use some water to cook a meal more nutritious than raw food. We're going to make this and obviously a very good place to put it would be in the kitchen. And it's got a chair right next to it so you can sit down while stuff is cooking. You're going to place that there and you're going to run and make that. Well, Pavle, you're going to run down here. And what are we going to make? We could make a radio. It would be great to listen to current news, weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. When there's nothing on the news, we can listen to music to brighten up our mood. I'm going to make a radio. One radio will be made. We're going to make this. And where would be a good place to put it? I'm thinking we've got our kitchen here. We've got our bedrooms are going to be upstairs. This is going to be kitchen. I think our workshops are going to be on the lower level. So a living area. Maybe if we place it up here. You know, maybe placing it in this room here would be a good idea. Place the radio right here in front of the um, table. And place that there. You can go and do that quickly. And run and do that, please. Now, Marco needs to sleep. At least it's warm, very true. It is 16 degrees centigrade. It's still only 8 a.m., so we've got plenty of time left in this day. I slept restlessly. He slept poorly because he slept on the floor. <coughs> but if Marco sleeps well tonight and or today and gets up early enough, then Pavle can go and sleep as well. In the meantime, you're going to check on the radio. The rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. A failure to comply could result in death. Let's go to the far left and drag it over. A light here. The upcoming day should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Yeah, if you want to get shot. Some classical music is playing. That's the broadcasting before. Wait for it to go right and you get the um, message pop up. Despite desperate, desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of... Poor Pogorin, Poor again, Pogorin. The city remains cut off. Government forces will not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Possible. And music is playing. And I click exit and leave that music playing. We've got some moonshine in there. You are currently sleeping. I was hoping we'd get a tray to come by today, but it's not looking like that. It's going to happen. Let's see what we can make over here. Too bad we've run out of cigarettes. Well, you are a smoker. Not surprised you're thinking that. We currently have two lockpicks. I don't need to make any more. You can sit down on this bench. No one's desperately hungry yet, so... Let's show off the cooking system, actually. You are going to... We could upgrade it. How much would that cost? That's going to cost 20 components, 10 wood and 5 mechanical. So it's only the wooden components we really need. I'm thinking tonight I'm going to go grab a load of wooden components. Get some upgrades on some things. Um, more efficient stove allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, efficiently saving fuel. Anyway, let's see what we can make. We could make cooked food if we had some fuel. And now this fuel uses components. Four components would make one fuel. One wood would make one fuel. And one book would make one fuel. I think having books is good because people can sit down and read them. I'm going to use three wood to make fuel. It's always good to have fuel on hand. burning some wood in the fire. We could have made it down here as well. 
Let's get some fuel for that now. Okay, you can sit down then. Now let's see, because this guy is just a fast runner. If he was to go here, making food would use one meat, five water, and two fuel every time. Whereas our good cook, I want to keep hold of him because he only uses one food, three water, so that's two less water than normal, and one firewood instead of two. So it's always good to get your cook doing the cooking every time. We could do some rest, well, he's still sleeping. Oh, he's awake now, so you didn't sleep last night, so you're going to go sleep. His stomach is rumbling. Oh well, didums. There is definitely nothing left to scavenge in our shelter. I don't think we've got anything really left to make. We could make another chair, but that's a little bit pointless. Could make some filters in preparation for the future, but not right now. Eventually, oh, we're going to want a rainwater collector. But first thing I want to do is upgrade my metal bench because it will give me a weapon which is also used as a tool and that is very good for inside here because we've got little bits of furniture which we can chop up now that there's nothing in them and get wood from it. He hopes you managed to keep it warm in here. <clears throat> he slept rest restlessly most of the time. Now this guy is going to sleep until end of the day which is six o'clock i believe it's four o'clock maybe seven o'clock or eight o'clock it's a little bit difficult to tell you can rewind the video and check but anyway i'm going to end the day because there's not anything else we can really do now bruno slept poorly whereas everyone else is wide awake so bruno is going to sleep tonight in the bed and pavle you are only hungry so you're going to guard and Marco, you're going to scavenge. Actually, no, Bruno is going to sleep in the bed. We've got one of one beds being used. Uh, we've visited the abandoned cottage, but we know there's lots of stuff there, all in one location, so we can get in and out very quick, grab what we want. We've got a supermarket, which is new. The supermarket is located in the area remaining under military control, but people are still trying to scavenge for it. Scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar could come in handy. And a shelled school. The school has been shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge in the building. We're going to go back to the abandoned village because there's some food there, some meds, lots of weapons, lots of parts, lots of materials. And Marco, if we prepare, does not need to take the crowbar or the shovel tonight. Now, there is a chance we can get raided at night, which is never fun. But crowbar and shovel count as weapons. Not very good, but they still count as weapons, so they can defend themselves at home. While we're out, let's go scavenging. I've seen people play this game before, and they leave all their stuff scattered all over the house. Me, I get it all in one location if I can in one day go here and think hmm what do I want to take today well, I'm thinking definitely want to take the meds I want to take the vegetables I want to take the water I want to take the gun or well, the broken gun that is <clears throat> I think I'm going to need more weapon parts and let's think components let's take one two three four five six seven stacks and one two three stacks of wood this would be nice to take this would be nice probably come back here again on day three and grab some more of this slightly essential stuff i might actually completely empty this house you never know anyway going to exit and run to the exit we've done all we can here nothing else left to do marco is back Loading. Day three. I'm back. I've got the meds. Good, good. 
Marco has been searching for supplies and bought some interesting things. Pavle. It seems that Pavle is starting to feel a bit unwell. Well, that's not good. Anyway, continue. And I'm going to call that it for part one, guys. Join me next time for part two. I'll see you then.